Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today's makeup look is on the look that I'm wearing, of course. I have no idea what to call this look, story of my life. I will figure out a name for it later. The only thing I will say about this look is that I think it's fairly fall appropriate. So, so yeah. Um, I used all Makeup Geek eyeshadows for this look, of course. I'm sorry, but you really can't go wrong with Makeup Geek. I ordered a couple more shadows from them about a week ago and received them yesterday and was inspired by some of the colors that I got. And so this is the look I came up with. So yeah, it's pretty easy to achieve. So before I get started with this tutorial, I wanted to say thank you to every single one of you who subscribed and watched and also entered in our giveaway. Our giveaway was open for about two weeks and it was closed on the 17th, I believe, of October. And our giveaway is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And we picked a we picked someone, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm saying. We picked someone to win the giveaway. Sorry, we didn't pick it. We went on random.org and had it randomly picked. So we made this giveaway as fair as we could. So at the end of the video, I will be announcing who won this palette. So stay tuned for that. And another weird fact, so the two weeks that we had our giveaway open, we gained a an additional 100 subscribers, which is so crazy to me. It took us forever to get to 100 subscribers so we were really excited about that and we want to thank you guys so much it really truly means to, means a lot to us and I think that's everything I have to say so to get this look you guys can continue watching and let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys soon bye hey guys okay so we're obviously gonna start off by priming our face and I'm using my Maybelline baby skin smooth primer this is a dupe for the Smashbox primer in my opinion Next I'm going in with my True Match foundation. I'm not sure the shade I'm in, but I'll leave it down below. I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then I'm going to go in with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki to buff everything out. And just quickly to mention, I already have my brows done. I'll link down below my eyebrow tutorial. It just takes way too long for me to film it. Next I'm going in with my concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 and I'm priming my eyelids with it first. Okay, so we're gonna start with the eyeshadows. I'm going in with the very first shade called Chickadee, and this is by Makeup Peak. And I'm taking this on a fluffy blending brush, and this is just going above the crease and you being used as a transition shade. Taking the same brush, I'm going in with Creme Brulee, also by Makeup Peak, and this is going just a tiny bit beneath Chickadee, but almost a little bit over top of it just to kind of um, make it less orange, but I still want that orange to show. Next, I'm going in with the shade Frappe, I think that's the shade, on a MAC 217 brush, and I'm placing this right in my crease and a little bit on the outer corner. And just to deepen everything a little bit more, taking the same blending brush, I'm going in with the shade Cocoa Bear, and I'm putting that right over top of Frappe. Make sure you take this color straight from outer corner to inner corner. Next, going in with my fluffy blending brush, just blending everything out. Taking my MAC 217 brush again, I'm taking the shade Bitten, and this is going right over top of the Cocoa Bear, and when you put these two colors together, it creates this plummy purple color. It's just so gorgeous, so I'm taking that also from inner corner to outer corner and leaving the middle of my eyelid bare. And don't forget to blend, and next we're taking a eyeshadow brush and I'm just highlighting my brow bone and I'm using the shade Shimma Shimma. Next I am taking the, this Makeup Geek pigment and it is called Insomnia. And it's like a blue-brown pigment, it's so pretty, but I'm just taking it on my ring finger and I just think you get the best pigmentation using your finger. And I'm just applying that into the middle of my eyelid. Taking a flat brush, I took a little bit of the pigment on the brush and kind of packed it on to intensify it. Then I went in with a clean blending brush and I just kind of blended the edges out. And then with my finger again, I'm taking another Makeup Geek shade and this is called Mermaid. And this is such a beautiful color. I'm just concentrating this more in the center of the blue-brown pigment that we put in. And then next I'm taking my MAC 217 brush and I dipped it in Cocoa Bear and Bitten and just kind of went over the crease. Next I'm taking my concealer and we're just concealing under the eyes and I'm, I like to use my finger just because I feel like you warm up the product a lot more and it just goes on a lot nicer. Next 
Next we're going to contour. I'm using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm using a small contour brush by Sigma and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones as usual. I'm also going to use it to bronze around my forehead as well and then taking a blending brush I'm going to contour my nose with the same bronzer. Next I'm taking a blush by Makeup Geek, this is called Bliss, and I'm just putting this to the apples of my cheeks. And I felt it to be a little bit too light, so I went in with MAC's blush called Melba, and I went just over top of it and I felt like it gave a little bit of more color to my cheeks. Next I'm taking a flat definer brush by Sigma and I'm going in with Bitten. And I'm really gonna put this really close to the lower lash line from inner to outer corner. And then after that, I'm taking a pencil brush by MAC and I dipped it in Cocoa Bear and I'm just buffing it all out. After I used my pencil brush, I took my MAC 217 with no additional product and just buffed it out even more. Next I'm going to line my waterline. This is a Kohl pencil by Clarins. Next I'm applying a coat of mascara. I'm using my Lancome Definisil Precious Cells. I don't like putting on a lot of mascara when I'm using false lashes so because they get in the way for me so I just didn't bother but I didn't record myself doing my lashes but there you are. They're all finished. Next I took a flat brush and I found the blue not as intense so I took this flat flat brush and I dipped it in the shade Mermaid again and just packed on the color a little bit more. Next I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. I'm using my Elizabeth Arden Glimmer Powder and I'm just putting this on my cheekbones and then a little bit down the bridge of my nose and I think I brushed my forehead with it too. Next I'm using the lip liner Tawny by Jordana and I'm going to line my lips and lightly fill them in as well. And to finish this look off I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in 1995. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, share this video with your family and friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Alright guys, so the winner of our chocolate bar palette is... Drum roll please is Emily McManus. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I am sorry if I butchered it for you, but I will leave it down below. And I'll also be uh, messaging Emily to let her know that she's won. And I want to say thank you to, I want to say thank you again to all of you who's entered and who subscribed and watched. It really truly means so much to us. And yeah, so my sister and I would probably be doing another giveaway maybe once we hit 500, maybe. And obviously we'll have some good goodies, some awesome goodies. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.